So today we're going to talk about your post-op rehab for your arthroscopic rotator cuff repair surgery. I'm Dr. Amy. And I'm Ashley. And we're going to get you back, back in, in the, the game. game. <laughs> so Dr. Kanata, what are the do's and don'ts for after your rotator cuff repair? That's a great question. First of all, like any of these exercises we've been showing you, be sure to check with your surgeon first and make sure that you're clear to go ahead and start these. Do wear your sling as directed by your surgeon. Most rotator cuff repair surgeries will require you to wear your sling anywhere between four and eight weeks after your surgery, depending on how extensive your rotator cuff repair surgery was. This means wearing it at all times, even when you're sleeping. The only exceptions are if you're bathing or showering, um, you're doing your exercises or you're getting yourself dressed. Another don't of after rotator cuff repair surgery is do not try any active shoulder rain motions on your own, especially including what we call internal rotation. Internal rotation is the action of basically putting your hand behind your back to scratch your back. That's internal rotation of the shoulder and we want you to avoid that for at least four to eight weeks. So weeks one through three after your arthroscopic rotator cuff repair surgery are focused on passive movements. The number one exercise after rotator cuff repair surgery is an exercise called the pendulum, which we will be demonstrating here on this video. Another exercise that we're gonna be doing is with a cane, getting you in the external rotation, which we're gonna be showing you. Another exercise we're gonna be showing you is some shoulder rolls, just to keep some motion in your shoulder capsule along with some active exercises for your elbow, wrist, and hand and fingers to make sure that those do not get stiff as you're wearing your sling. Okay, so the first exercise that we're uh, describing is the classic pendulum swing. This is to get your motion back in your capsule. It's very passive. The best way to do this is 10 to 20 times in one direction. You're gonna just let your arm swing and dangle and then 10 to 20 times in the other direction. I want you to think about the pendulum, like your arm is just dead weight at your side. So when you do this, you should have something very light in your hand, something like this bottle of hand sanitizer. So it actually feels more like a pendulum. Okay, for this next exercise, this is called passive external rotation with a cane. If you don't have a cane, you can use a golf club. If you don't have a golf club, you can use a broom. Ashley is passively externally rotating her operative side, which is her left shoulder, by using her right arm to push her left arm into external rotation. So you're gonna to wanna to do this about 10 to 15 times. This will be uncomfortable at first, right after surgery. It is important that you work through that pain, but not to the point where it's too much. Post-operatively, you want to aim for a goal to get to 80 to 90 degrees. So what is that? This is actually zero with your hands straight up. So Ashley, go ahead and grab that cane and then go to roughly about 45 degrees. That's roughly 45. If you can go past that to get to 80 to 90, that's really great. Again, you're not using your own muscles to externally rotate. Imagine that your arm will not move unless you're holding onto the cane and actually using your other arm to push it. All right, so for our next exercise, we're gonna show you just how to have some active range of motion in your elbow, wrist, and hand so that they don't get stiff while you're wearing the sling. So this one, you're going to be in partially in your sling, and when we get to some of the exercises, you may have to just slip the sling off your elbow just a little bit to do some of the exercises we're gonna show you. So you can see that Ashley is just bending and straightening her elbow, keeping her shoulder by her side, the operative shoulder by her side, and she's just squeezing the ball. This is just, just to get some blood flow into her hands and fingers. You can actually kind of rotate your wrist around if you want, just for some added range of motion. Bend and straighten your elbow. It'll probably feel pretty good after it's been in the sling for a while, just to get some movement in the joints. And this should be done with no weights. You can see Ashley's holding a squeeze ball in her hand. Most doctors will give you a squeeze ball with a sling after your surgery. You can do that, I don't know, 10 to 15 times. 
things. So we have one more exercise to show you with the cane that you can do. This one is a passive um, abduction of the shoulder in the scapular plane. So I'm gonna have Ashley demonstrate this exercise for you. Again, this is done by using your opposite arm to push your operative arm into the range of motion. So the plane of the scapula, this is the scapular plane. And you can see that Ashley's just following that plane with her arm. It's not straight out to her side. It's got a little bit of a forward angle to it. All right, for our last exercise, we're just gonna show you some shoulder shrugs. Now this can be done as a, sh a straight shrug or we, we're also going to show you a variation of that with a roll forward and backward. We hope you found this video helpful, and again, make sure you check with your surgeon before starting these or any exercises. And we understand that it might be a little bit painful at first, just push through what you can, but again, if it's too painful, check with your surgeon. Don't continue something that's causing a ton of pain. Hoping to get you back in the game. See you for part two.